Spain, for example, has a mortality rate that is nearly four times, though, when the fake news gets out there and they start talking about the United States as number one. But we're not number one. China is number one. We continue to see a number of positive signs that the virus has passed its peak. It's been very devastating all over the world, 184 countries, probably more. Its number was as of a week ago. Dr. Birx will walk through some of these trends in a few moments, but they're very positive trends for winning. We're going to win. We're going to close it out. While we mourn the tragic loss of life, and you can't mourn it any stronger than we're mourning it, the United States has produced dramatically better health outcomes than any other country, with the possible exception of Germany. And I think we're as good or better. On a per capita basis, remember that, on a per capita basis, our mortality rate is far lower than other nations of Western Europe, with the lone exception of possibly Germany. This includes the UK, Switzerland, Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy, France. Spain, for example, has a mortality rate that is nearly four times that of the United States. But you don't hear that. You hear we have more death. But we're a much bigger country than any of those countries, by far. So when the fake news gets out there and they start talking about the United States as number one, but we're not number one, China's number one, just so you understand. China's number one by a lot. It's not even close. They're way ahead of us in terms of death. It's not even close. You know it. I know it, they know it, but you don't want to report it. Why? Uh, you'll have to explain that. Someday I'll explain it. Since we released the guidelines to open up America again, and this was two days ago, a number of states led by both Democrat and Republican governors have announced concrete steps to begin a safe, gradual, and phased opening. Texas and Vermont will allow certain businesses to open on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions. And I can tell you the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, he knows what he's doing. He's a great governor. He knows exactly what he's doing. Montana will begin lifting restrictions on Friday. Ohio, North Dakota, and Idaho have advised non-essential businesses to prepare for a phased opening starting May 1st. Throughout this crisis, my administration has taken unprecedented actions to rush economic relief to our citizens.